Hi everybody, Dr. Duke, Academic Director of Freedom Project Academy coming at you with yet another of our Common Core math comparisons. Uh, we have a number of them on our website where we compare traditional math to the Common Core math. We show you uh, at various grade levels the insanity, the obfuscation, the mindlessly uh, obtuse way that Common Core math goes about its business and the simple elegance of traditional math, which you can no longer do in Common Core math classrooms. Today we have an interesting example coming from Mary Black, who's done our whole series. Uh, Mary Black is our curriculum director, and she's looking at something as simple as subtraction. Now you wouldn't think subtracting one number for, from another would be complicated, would require multiple steps, would require all sorts of arcane examples and needlessly extended uh, work, uh, but that's exactly what happens with Common Core. So take a look as Mary Black walks you through traditional subtraction and shows you what they're doing to your kids with Common Core. Let's solve a subtraction problem using the traditional right-to-left method. The problem 280 subtract 148 is shown. Because 8 can't be subtracted from 0, we borrow a 10 from the 8 in 280, leaving us with 7, and we add 10 ones to the 0. Going from right to left, we subtract 8 from 10, 4 from 7 and 1 from 2 to get the difference of 132. Common Core teaches arithmetic by presenting multiple strategies. The first two we'll discuss are intended for second and third grades. The first is the open number line. This does not require knowledge of facts or the use of borrowing. We simply count down the number line and add up our leaps to solve the problem. The second early elementary strategy is place value blocks. Again, we do not need to know subtraction facts. We begin by drawing two hundreds and eight tens. We simply cross out a ten to give us ten ones so we can mark through eight ones, four tens, and one one hundred. You see what is left on the right hand side of the screen. Now let's look at some upper elementary strategies. The left to right, or mental math strategy, is not only simplified and watered down, but it trains the children to subtract from left to right, which leaves stu students confused and unable to use the traditional right to left method. The students reach higher levels of math, unable to subtract without resorting to one of these strategies. The Singapore math strategy. This strategy avoids borrowing by subtracting 8 from 280 and 148. I am not certain how one can say that no borrowing took place when 8 was subtracted from 280. Counting up or giving change. In this method, 280 is changed to $2.80, and 148 is changed to $1.48. And increments of money are added to $1.48 to reach $2.80. This is not even the proper method to give change. Expanded notation. This is the most popular strategy. Notice. The use of the terms negative and positive numbers before the student is capable of subtracting in the traditional and efficient manner. How does this affect students at higher levels of math? 1000 equals x plus 299 is an example of an equation pre-algebra or algebra 1 students would be asked to solve. To solve for x, one must subtract 299 from both sides of the equation. It is likely that the students will have to resort to using one of the strategies we have discussed or a calculator if he or she was not lucky enough to learn the traditional right-to-left method of subtraction. And that's why for six years at Freedom Project Academy, we have really focused hard on bringing you Common Core free education, no government money. We don't take a penny of state or federal money. We never will. Uh, we've worked with people like Tina Hollenbeck to see exactly how the curriculum is overburdened with Common Core and now the sexuality standards. Look, 
Time is running out. There is no safe space in these public schools. Freedom Project Academy is a fantastic alternative, but there are others. Whatever you do, Mom and Dad, become responsible for your kids' education. Protect them from federal educational intrusion.